Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I had a great question uh, when I was talking about hand depth the other day for a better player that tends to get the hands in and I was referencing sometimes you get them in and, and it comes over. For this player they would get them in and it would actually come too much from the inside. I uh, wanted to give him a, a couple insights on what potentially that could be from. Um, when we're looking at, so take away again, so I got put on the connection sphere here. So when we're looking at that first move, inside would be relative, I would say to the center of my body, right? So if this club is right in the middle of my body and I pull the club across, now it's not in front. If I did this, that would be in front of my pivot, okay? So we're sort of referencing the depth relative to the pivot, okay? So where, where my hands start and then how much do they go behind the center of my body, that would be behind my body, okay, when I'm talking about that. So for this player, they're saying their hands get in, and then as they come in, their path can be quite a bit from the inside. So when I see a player like that, okay, so one is when they go in, is it, are they going in because the arms aren't lifting, right? So some players in the idea of keeping their hands connected, let that arm actually come too much across their body and then for this player what can happen on better players i see is it actually sometimes can start to go a little bit on top but then usually better players will add a little bit more bend and then that's going to put the club too much from the inside so I, i'm speculating here without seeing the swing so one thing you could think about is as you go back what's it like one to let the arms start to elevate sooner okay and then two, as we come down, since they elevate, now they can start to come down versus me having to tilt to bring them down, right? So if I let them come down, then I can keep my bend sort of moving how they should. So if this is my top, if I do this too much, that's gonna be quite a bit from the inside, okay? So as you get to the top, what's it like to start to level out those shoulders versus adding that extra sort of firing of the right side down right so if i keep my shoulders level and then move through with a little bit more neutral takeaway that would probably be where i would go so that would be level shoulders and then as i come through that's definitely going to move the path around versus if i go deep come a little over but then have that extra right bend that's going to shoot that path quite a bit from the inside okay so continuing the ideas of where the hand position is in the backswing find what's right for you. Check, make sure you check out the obsessedgolfclub.com. Love uh, being able to, one, figure out if the concepts are right for the player, figure out how you move, is it right for you, what are your gifts, and then what drills are gonna help you get better, okay? So using the, that concept to understand the bends and transition really depended on the player. I hope this helps. Um, if you need any more help for your game, make sure you check out the description below. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.